This video is not intended for children. Viewer discretion is advised. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. up for you boss they're all right here for their inspection right god help me so apparently we are forming a a syndicate i guess that's the best word for it that that's the safest word we can get by with is syndicate bah fuck it we're making a mafia <laughs> Don Loki's in the house and we need we need jobs. We need jobs for these wonderful people out there. We need we need roles. A couple of them are already taken. Our our man at arms is Dave Bob. <laughs> Cause you know, he's getting us all our stuff. Uh and consignarity goes to Mexican Iron Man. Every That's other it. job's open. I think Arlena wanted Hitman. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> so yes that's where we are going today fear the axe <laughs> is there like a cheerleader position in in the organization rah rah yeah oh my god you did that so good oh that horse head just looked great <laughs> yeah you're doing a good job that's what i want to be <laughs> you can be our 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 wine procurer yeah Ooh. Yeah, you you run the vineyards. 
Yeah. Now, uh, do public relations. Yes. Okay, that's me. <laughs> He's the official tester. Uh, kind of like a food taster. Keep keep you from yes. getting po uh, poisoned. Yes, you this is not good enough for, for Don Loki over here. No, no, no. <laughs> we need to get the, the $10 stuff. Come on now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no more $5 box wine. No. Barefoot, who are you? May a birth <laughs> child be a masculine child. <laughs> Thank you, man, Squatch. I give it to your daughter on the day of your daughter wedding. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah Jester of Sin can be our fixer. He knows a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Mark yes. wants to be a button man. I saw that coming. Well, Chris brought up a good point. Shouldn't shouldn't the mods, uh, him and Sensei and and Mark be your like enforcers? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> We we have a problem that needs to sleep with the fishes, Mark. <laughs> Give him an offer he can't refuse. That's right. <laughs> That's damn right. I cannot, y'all. We've oh. got some promotional material that we need to share with you guys this morning. Boop! There we go. <laughs> I'm a hood ornament, y'all. Oh, my God, yes. yes. It's funny, Arwen's, like, riding a, like, 50s surfer. Yeah, I am. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, that looks like a 50s jet ski. <laughs> Instead of a surfboard. Oh, my God. It sure does. It looks like it's attached. I hope uh, this doesn't make zero sunny. No, he's not hot headed enough. That'd go to Mark. <laughs> Mark can be sunny. Yeah. Because <laughs> he gets angry. <laughs> he's an angry young man. So, yeah, I she's got to have the box wine. Oh, and this is literally box wine. I love it. Wine right <laughs> in a box? Come on now. But Mark, one problem. Mark, Mark should be happy, you know. I, I hear his favorite villain was on X Men '97. Mm. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I only watched the first two episodes and see anything after that. Mojo. Oh, Mojo! Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, I love these. You broke my heart, Fredo. You <laughs> broke my heart. <laughs> Put a chick in it. Make her lame. Gay. <laughs> Gay. Gay. <clears throat> Let's see some of the honorable mentions here. That's the main one. Thank you, Man Squatch. Brother, it. it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love Superman in the background. <laughs> I, I don't know why Superman's in the background, but. Yeah. I will have to say I'm pretty consistent. Dave, Bob, you always look smexy in these. I mean, you are like ready to go. It's Loki and I that that they can't quite figure out sometimes AI who what we are about. <laughs> no rooster, they know cock. AI knows cock, y'all, and there it is. Dave AI Bob, knows cock. <laughs> Warcock, Warcock specifically. Make her silver and ginger. Yes. <laughs> Hollywood would never be smart enough to do that, though. No. Does he even hear Ginger? Yep. You know, if they really wanted to be badass, they would come out with a villainous, like a villain to rival him who is a chick with the red hair and all in gold. I mean, come on. That would if it, if done right, it would be so iconic. But unfortunately, I don't think they could do it right today. They would mess it up with the ideology and it would suck. They've yeah. got Nova, so I don't understand why they didn't just use Nova instead of Silver Surfer. She's oh, yeah. a celestial, yeah, and go, and it's go. like in gold. There you go. And it's a chick out of the box. You don't need a gender swap. See, I didn't even know that. And there you go. They've already thought of it and built it in. So yeah. just do that. That sounds good. And then so, you make her a redhead. Yeah. The only thing they know how to do is to just swap out characters genders i mean that is their standard go-to anymore especially now that it's the mcu yeah 
I agree. Okay, I, I just Dave Bob pointed out the Superman, and now that's all you know backstage, and that's all I could see because he looks like he wants to be part of the group. <laughs> Look at his! Sp- I want to come and hang out with John Loki and his henchmen. <laughs> Wait for me, guys! Wait for me! I'm dead. Let's see here. Let me get this pulled up real quick so we can. There is another one of the one man squatch did, but I want to show this first since we were just talking about boom. There she yep. is. Okay. Yeah. Look at her. Fantastic. She's got fire hair. So you yeah. can do the red hair. She looks great. See, I think that'd be cool. Be something different. Something we haven't seen. Something original source. Cause you know, and I'm she, all about original source. Yeah. And she has definitely got the body. Yes, she does. It'd be, it'd be killer. But. You know, the, the, the girl they got to play silver surfer weighs like a buck 10. <laughs> She's five, three weighs like a buck 10. She, um, she weighs that much. Yeah. Yeah. She'd be, she'd be, she'd make a perfect Tinkerbell, but not a silver surfer. I was about to say, I didn't even think she broke a hundred. That little blonde girl. Yeah. She's yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. But. Oh my God. Nova isn't major enough. Yeah. Yeah. She's not, she's not going to change anything. So she's not the OG that they can change. Mm, That sucks. Well, the ideas are there. They just have to take the time and mind them. And if they don't, we're going to get what we get. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to have their man squatch. That was definitely a miss there. A I'm like skateboarding. Therapist. I'm like skateboarding air or water back in the back. Um, Arwen has my head on my body, but her legs, I don't know how that works because those aren't my toes. So those got to be Arwen's toes. <laughs> and Dave Bob's up front like, bitch, I will peck you to death. Wait. Hey, yeah. Loki, hang and, on. And look got- at my stance. I ain't falling off of that. Two, three, four, five, six. Loki, I ain't got no six damn toes. You got six <laughs> toes on that foot. <clears throat> well, I don't have six I toes. I have no six toes that ain't my foot. <clears throat> <laughs> Y'all, he's got an extra pinky toe. I'm dead. <laughs> I love this. And I ain't got no boobies. I'm like, you know, just put my head on a man's body and there I am. No. Day Bob again looks great, but Day Bob, where's your tail? Your magnificent tail. Is it a tiny tail? Is it hiding? Is it gone? We don't know. There's so many questions. Yeah, the seagulls. Jet powered seagulls. I love that. <laughs> Fireballs coming out of their butts. Someone oh fed those seagulls some Pepto Bismol. It's shades of birdemic. I can't. <laughs> I mean, have y'all have y'all seen that movie? When you know, you know. The seagulls and the birds. Ugh. Dad bombing people. Mary wants us to set up a concrete plant in Iceland. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm pretty this time of year. Six toes for stability, <laughs> except for the volcano going off right now. Six toes. I love it. Oh, show back. Arwen, oh. show your feet. I don't believe you. <laughs> Shut up, back. I ain't showing my feet. Although, who knew? It was such a lucrative profession to show your feet on OnlyFans. Who knew? You find out a lot on the internet. <laughs> but no, thank you. Five toes. So, on his yeah. foot. That's it. Does that's she, you, you got five toes there. Oh, yeah, that's right. See? Okay. That okay. is, yeah, but that's the good. That's one of the good ones, except for Superman. Yeah, I don't know how Superman got in there. I that's like Nick Cage Superman too. <laughs> Nick Cage that, Superman. Yeah, that ain't normal Superman. That's like Nick Cage Superman. He's doing his best to keep up with us, isn't he? And what am I writing on? Because I'm not on the surfboard. You just your feet are in the water. You just got a pair of foot. You're barefoot. I am a Don. So there you go. I'm a I'm a I'm a mob boss. So you are that. Mm-hmm. You don't need no stinking silver surfboard. 
<clears throat> You've got the world at your feet. You can just float. <laughs> <laughs> God. The uh, world is mine. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. I'm dead this morning. I, I, I've been giggling for almost 48 hours straight. So <laughs> I'm on a, I'm on Friday, a record. Friday morning, I look forward to see the memes from Man Squatch. I just, yes, thank you. <laughs> Always, every morning, every Friday. Thank you so much, Man Squatch. It's it's it it is it has become a constant on this show. <laughs> it's its own segment now. What did Man Squatch come up with? <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. So, um, if anybody hasn't been keeping track of what's going on in the gaming industry right now it seems that uh sega has laid off another 90 people um that comes to like 360 i think so far 360 people well that's um, terrible anyway they've 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 sold relic entertainment which is one of their only profitable studios um and fired devs from creative assembly that have been making total war warhammer and other games um this is not just an isolated problem with sega microsoft has done it playstation's done it um they're all going that away. they're all going they're all going down they're all losing money uh, they're desperate to get funds to make new games to try and profit off of but that means they're locked into this DEI CG, yeah, crap that um, is being provided by Sweet Baby. All right, let me ask y'all about that because I can't noodle this out. And when things don't make sense, it, it confuses and bothers me. Okay. All right. You have you have these game companies that are making these games, right? They have their yes. own developers. They have their own independent staff. Blah blah blah. They are autonomous companies making their own damn games yes why does all of a sudden sweet baby Inc. come out and everyone is like terrified that everyone has to use them i don't understand the correlation okay it's, it's, Do companies basically, have black, to use it's them? basically blackmail i believe yeah well okay so here's the deal okay. um sweet baby and these other companies are financed through um companies like blackrock Okay. All right. So what they do is they promote themselves to, you know what, use us and um, we'll come in and look at your stuff, but we'll also get you special ESG bullshit DEI money mm -hmm. um, that you'll have to pay a very low percentage on. Better than any kind of bank loan you could get. Better. So when you're gearing up to make a game, a lot of these, games. yeah, to fund their games. Okay. To fund their games. Right. So what a lot of these companies do, especially the bigger ones, is to facilitate a way to not have to pay for it if something bad happens. They will okay. take out a loan with a bank that's so many interest, so much interest, and then they use that loan to pay to make the game instead of taking the profits that they've already made. Uh, off of something else, another game, and using it to make a new game, they are going to the banks and are like, you know, we're going to borrow. Let's say you think your game's going to cost $100 million. So you borrow $100 million, you have to pay that back plus principal um, mm -hmm. and, and a percentage. Right. Okay. Well, that percentage is going to be much lower when you go through them, when you go through Sweet Baby, when you go through whoever. And they insert themselves in your game, so you have to use them. Well, no, you don't have to. If but that's part of the deal. Money? No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, to use their money, yes. Yes. You have to use them. But here's the thing. If they take some of that profit and apply that towards making their other game, then they could take a smaller loan from the bank, and then they could do what the hell they wanted. They wouldn't have to go through a company that they are going to feel strong armed about. But they also get tax breaks. So imagine this, imagine okay. that um, the tax break you want 
uh, you can only get if you open a studio in Indonesia because Indonesia doesn't have enough game studios. Um, okay. They facilitate that. And you open up the game studio and then you get so much of a tax break. You might even get enough of a tax break that it completely pays for the principal of the loan you took out. Okay. But they're the ones facilitating that tax break. So because you use them, you you get it. You're guaranteed to get it. It's not a maybe. It's not a, well, let's look at it, every money that's working for your company okay. and make sure that you have enough of these people or this people or that people. It's an immediate, yes, you're diverse enough. You're going to get this tax break. They're li it's literally working okay. with the government. So is Sweet Baby the only com the only consulting company out there that does this? Or no, the but they're that don't inject all of the, the stuff in it. No, they're all the same. So all consulting gaming consulting firms right now, as it stands, are basically DEI. You do, you know, we're going to give you quote unquote suggestions, but it means you need to change this or you won't get this money. Yes. Well, then I think it's time for someone to create an independent gaming um, consultant company that doesn't have all that shit in it. And if someone had the money to do that, because what, what companies like BlackRock are doing, they're not even, they're not even using their money to fund this stuff. They're using your money. Yep. They're using Dave Bob's money. They're yep. using my money. They're using the money we pay in taxes to pay for this shit. They're using money that they've taken out of our paychecks to hold in our 401ks in our in our retirement plans they're using that money to fund this shit you are funding this every single person out there in the united states is funding this because they have all our retirement shit mm -hmm. so if they're holding all of our retirement stuff they're literally using that as a as a loan and then getting a very small percentage back because they don't need the money this is their push to to initiate what they want in your space okay here's here's the thing then then come then gaming companies need to go balls to the wall and sit down and decide what the hell it is that's important to them because at this point if they they are a business and they need to start thinking about the business side not just the creative side and if they are going to do business with a company that is basically going to have, let's call it what it is, rule over what they do, and that's not what they want to do, then they need to, then these companies need to take some autonomy and figure some shit out. It's not always going to be on the consumer to pitch a fuss and say, we don't like this, blah, blah, blah. If the company decides that the, that's the route they're going to go, there's nothing you can do about that. But these other gaming companies, they're going to be, they're going to be hurting. Because yes. people are tired of this across the board in every aspect of our pop culture community, whether it's gaming, whether it's movies, whether it's books, whether it's TV, whether it's music, we're sick of it. We just want our entertainment to entertain. Are all the games out there my cup of tea? No, but they don't have to be. Because if the ones that aren't my cup of tea are going to be messed with, I guarantee y'all down the road somewhere somebody is going to find Dreamlight Valley offensive and need some changes and they're going to start screwing with the little cozy games that i like yes that's my worry oh uh, it's already happening yeah so because these companies are now indebted to it they are literally indebted to the shakedown crews like sweet baby Inc. sweet baby inc is a shakedown operation yep okay this is what they do okay imagine arwin imagine you wrote a book right and you go to sell that book. You don't do it independently, but you have a you have a firm that's going to sell your book for you. Okay. And they say, okay, this is brilliant. It's great. You're going to make a lot of money. However, mm -hmm. it needs to go through our sensitivity readers first. <laughs> so they give it to the sensitivity readers, and the sensitivity readers read it and give you a long a lawn a long ass list a laundry list of complaints oh that you've got to change to the point that it's not even really going to be your book anymore it's going to be their book you wrote something but they've critiqued the shit out of it and said you've got to do this you've got to change this person you've got to make this person this you've got to do this blah 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 and if you want your book to be published you have to do that 
I, there I is no a, ifs, ands, or buts. But if I wrote a book, I'm going to guarantee book. you right now that that the whole thing would just be tossed in the trash because they, <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't fix it. Dave, Bob, they would torture your book. They'd be like, oh, my God, this is full of so much offensive stuff. We just can't. They would be, they play Torch Mine too, probably, because I would be like, look, I get it. You got to edit it. You know, we well, got to make wouldn't be sure any safe spaces. and all that. But the rest there wouldn't of be it. any safe spaces and snowflakes would melt just glancing <laughs> at the cover. <laughs> snowflakes would melt at Warcox book. Yeah. Remember that these same people said that um, change cannot occur naturally. The kind of change you want cannot occur naturally. You have to force it to happen. And that's what you've seen over the last seven years, seven, eight years is at the Forward. beginning, it was slow. Uh -huh. And then it was no, we're going to infect this. We're going to take this. You don't deserve this. We're going to make this. And then it went from movies to TV to video games to whatever, because you have to quote, force the change. That's from BlackRock itself. That's from their director them, it's himself. You oh. have to force the kind of change that you are looking for. Yeah, who was it? One of them, I don't know if it was Black Girl Gamers. I don't know if it was Sweet Baby Inc. I don't know. One of them, because they're all kind of mushed together at this point, said that, um, yeah, they had to, to, like you said, force the change. And then if you have to use you know, terror to strike the fear of terror into them or strike, you know, to make them afraid. And that's, and I'm like, Oh, that, cause that always works, you know, terror and force and pushing. Yeah. That's a healthy way to inspire change and, yeah. and, and change like that never lasts. People right. will always fight against change like that. It's when they try pretty much always the ahead. same play from the same rule book every time too. I mean, they've got it down to a science now. Yeah. Speaking of books, Dave Bob, Snorter Poop Scuba says, Cock of the Rock, My Life is an Alpha Rooster by Dave Bob. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, my God. Yes. Mansquatch says, The problem with forcing change is that if you push too hard and too fast, the backlash will stop you. As we are seeing, the backlash is stopping them. Yeah, because they are trying to say you're a horrible, shitty, Yahtzee hedonistic blah 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 if you don't do exactly what we say and like exactly what we say you need to like now the built-in audiences are going away i want to tell you something as great as much as i love total war warhammer and i loved creative assembly for what they did with that game it is a very expensive game and they did not treat their customers well it's as simple as that uh they have lost a lot of those customers they have lost a lot of those customers with stupid decision making. They are making even more dumb decisions. That's on them. Those people aren't built in audiences. When you, when you get these people that think that, okay, we're going to buy this IP, we're going to buy Star Wars and it's got 7 million fans. Well, no matter what we, we do, no matter how bad we spit on them, no matter how bad we shit on them, no matter how bad we ruin their day, they're still going to be Star Wars fans. That is what they think. So they think, okay, we've got a built-in fan base of 7 million people that love it. Um, no matter what we do or how bad we shit on it, they're still going to love it because they're Star Wars fans. They really believe that. They don't believe any of this shit has gone on. Wow. They don't know what they don't know what woke Star Wars is. They have no idea. They they live in a bubble. They live in a bubble reality that's different from all of us. Did you ever have a girlfriend that lived in a bubble that thought the entire world revolved around her and everything was built just for her? It's what a sociopath is. But yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same shit. Snowed up with two dollar super wow. chat. Skull and talk and roll. Skull and tuck and roll, my friend. Morning, Snow. Good morning. And a $5 super chat from Mark the Infinitely Tired that says, <laughs> shut up, Arwen. Why does Arwen need to show up? Shut Chonk up. Chonk it, Mark. Chonk it. That's right. Chonk it, <laughs> bastard. We love you, Mark. Hi, Cookie. Good morning. <laughs> pew, pew. So thank you both so very much for your, thank you, Snow, for your $2 super chat. Thank you, Mark, for your $5 super chat. You guys keep the fires burning bright here on Valhalla. And I think we need a little tuck and roll this morning. Hmm? 
So so That's we're good. gonna we're gonna tuck and roll and then we're gonna Iceland. Go! That's reserved for late night, but <laughs> that's the late night show. Ooh, spicy morning. <laughs> God. Who pulls their strings? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We will not forget. There's just, there's got to be a way around it. I just refuse to when it all of these companies are just going to kowtow to this. When it crashes, there yeah. will be. Yeah. Well, that's but why the, it, out in California they decided to back a different entity because they were losing money in their retirement and they can't afford that anymore. Yeah, I agree. It's good. <laughs> My God, what did I just see? <laughs> nothing. You saw nothing. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Move along. And nothing to see. What the fuck? Yeah, Pete Dan Cat. Welcome. Good morning, y'all. Penny's like, oh my God. <laughs> right, Penny? I'm like, woo! Eyes are burning. <laughs> That's some serious silly string. Yep. That's right. <laughs> yep. No, but it's got to crash. It's got to crash. So what you've got, what, what sweet baby and these BGG and all this other shit is, they're leeches, okay? They have they have discovered that there's billions of dollars in gaming. Yeah. Okay. So how can we get our how can we get our slice? How can we get a taste? As the mob puts it, how do we get our taste? I just want to wet my beak. I want a taste. Mm -hmm. You go in and you make it impossible for them to work without your input. You've got to go through us. You Just, want the best deal. You want the special treatment. You want the special tax breaks. You're not going to get without us. You've got to use us. Make them an offer they can't refuse. Yeah. And the only ones that are free of this shit is the indie guys that are doing it on their own. Yeah, and and they're the games that seem to be doing the best right now. That are getting yep. the most. Now they're also the most controversial because they're not going through. Sweet Baby Inc. and all that's of right. companies, but they're still decent games. They're still good games. And <laughs> Snow. <laughs> and I don't know. I would rather play something that is good and that, you know, they worked on and, and that's fun than something that's just full of shit that I'm like, you know what? I, I, I don't need, I don't want to be preached at. I don't want, just let me play a game. Let yep. me make my character look the way I want her to look or him look, whoever I'm playing, and let me just play the game. No, about that all that no you can't do that. You have to toe the line. That's what I feel like, you know, as someone who plays them, it, that's what I'm being told. And, and this is this is why like we maintain the small operation that we do. And we're not we're not indebted to YouTube. We're not getting um, we're not getting ad revenue from YouTube. We don't follow, um, we don't follow the, the guidelines so we can get ad money every month and all that shit. That's why you don't see ads on any of these live streams is that we don't, we don't, we don't want to play by those rules. Mm -hmm. And I mean, shit, they could shut us down any day. They could honestly. They took one look at some of this shit that we've done, and they can probably shut us down any day of the week. <clears throat> if that gets someone to go out and report us, by all means, go out and report us. We wouldn't be the first ones to try. So, um, this is why we survive on donations. We don't, as <laughs> a hero, you don't get paid. You get paid. Yes, we get paid. But only because um, of people donating 
people yeah. doing memberships, people doing um, fellowship of Valhalla. Yeah. Yeah. And here's here's one of the biggest things I have a problem with, and maybe I'm I'm just stubborn this way, but say somebody creates a game, and again, say it's not my cup of tea game. Okay, let's mix like a Conan game with Stellar Blade, where all the people running around are big booby chicks. Okay, and they've got swords and they're fighting, and it's a fantasy game. Great. It may or may not be my cup of tea. Are they like pushing know. their chests against each other and no, no, no. They're just they're just running around, you know, in bikini mail fighting. They're just doing that. Okay. Fine. Somebody out there's gonna play it and it's good, they're gonna enjoy it. And if it's a good game, it's going to be a hit. Here's my problem that if a company comes in and says, Well, the women aren't wearing enough clothes, or you know, there's there's too many of this people, not enough of this people, you know, we have to add pronouns, blah, blah, blah. They start putting, you know, some people are really into that and I'm, I'm not going to knock that. That's their business. Okay. But here's my problem. It's not your game. It's not your story. Somebody came up with the story. Somebody came up with the design. They packaged it, produced it, put it out, or they're going to put it out that, you know, people have already seen, um, clips of it and trailers. Everyone's excited for it. And if this company comes in, basically what they're doing is they're saying your characters and your story is not good enough. So we have to help you because we know what's best for you. Yes. And we know what's best for your audience. No, bitch, you don't. You don't know me. You don't know the millions of other gamers. You don't know any of us personally. And you know I'm, I'm adult enough to know if that's not my cup of tea on a game, guess what? I'm going to go play Hogwarts Legacy. You know what I mean? You, you know what That's you're talking what? about? We went through this in the 90s where the government wanted control of the video game industry. Mm. The government wanted control. They wanted to regulate. Uh, they bought it and they said that it is protected under artistic expression like freedom of speech. And they've literally sold their souls now these gaming companies have sold their souls to be controlled and told what to do and what they can and cannot do. I don't understand that. I do, to me, gaming is a creative process. The, the creating a game is very much a creative process. It involves a lot of elements and any, any creative person, whether you, you know, whether it's artwork, whether it's song, whether it's, you know, creating video games, whatever your thing is, any creative person is automatically going to go, huh, wait a minute, hang on. Why are you telling me that my characters aren't good enough or my story's not good enough? What, what do I need to change for you? Why do I need to change my sensibilities just for you? You know what I'm, and, and I'm talking general games. I'm not even talking some, you know, really indie, very specific niche games. I'm talking just general games. I do not like that. That to me strikes of, you know, North Korea shit. I'm sorry, but it does. When you start meddling into that creative process and you start saying, we have to monitor you because we do not trust that people are smart enough to figure this stuff out, that this is just a video game, that we don't need a bunch of modern sensibilities preached and thrown in there, that we can make up our own minds and make up our own decisions. I, I can't stand stuff like that. I just can't. Some of us, you, if you think seventy dollars for a game is expensive, uh, you haven't seen some of the PC stuff people play around with. Oh hell, I've been watching Mary play Avatar, and I'm not talking about and that shit's expensive. I'm not talking about where they they nickel and dime you with microtransactions. I'm just talking about the game itself. Yeah, I think that game is it's something like 120 bucks. A hundred bucks. I mean, it's expensive. This game is really expensive. Now it's beautiful and I think it's going to be worth it, but yeah, games are getting pricey. Yeah, let me show you something. Uh, and these are downloadable games. These aren't even physical copies. Yeah. This, these are downloadable games. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this is Warhammer mm -hmm. and the opening salvo costs you $60. 
$59.99, right? And then you pay $9.99 for the Norska faction. You get Bretonia and Isabella for free. You pay $18.99 for Realm of the Wood Elves. You pay $8.99 for the King and the Warlord. $8.99 for the Grim and the Grave. Uh, $18.99 for Call of the Beastmen. Uh, $7.99 for Chaos Warriors. And if you want blood in the game, you literally have to pay for blood. Blood for the blood god. Right? It's a pay for blood? You have to pay for blood. And <laughs> beheadings and like what? them shop. Yeah, it's basically like you're paying for the ability to um, see fatalities. Now that's, you know, a hundred bucks right there. Then this is the second game and everything that's in the second game or in the first game you have in the second game. So basically you can get everything mm -hmm. um, in the second game and play all of it. So everything you bought for the first game carries over to the second game. Again, $59.99, 60 bucks. $9.99 for the Silence and the Fury. $9.99 for the Twisted and the Twilight. $9.99 for the Warden and the Punch. $9.99 for Shadow and Blade. $9.99 for the Hunter and the Beast. $9.99 for the Prophet and the Warlock. $18.99 for Curse of the Vampire Coast. $9.99 for the Queen and the Crone. $18.99 for Rise of the Tomb Kings. Uh, yeah. Two ninety nine for Blood of the Blood God. That's their version of Blood. But if you bought the first version of Blood, then you get it for free. You already have it. So you don't have to pay for it again. Then you get a whole bunch of shit that's like secondary for free. But none of this is as good as the paid for stuff, obviously. Mm -hmm. So if you want to add all of the DLC for this game, it's $110.90 plus the $59.99 that you're paying for the base game. So this is $200. Now, but is this full content that you're paying for? Other than the the blood and gore, obviously. Yes, you're getting factions. So you're like yeah. Silence and the Fury. You're okay. getting two completely different factions that are going to go into the game that you can play as. They'll be in the game anyway. But you won't be able to play as them if unless you buy the content. So it's kind of like Lord of the Rings Online. They have their expansion packs. Yes, this these are all expansions. In game, but they're locked. You can go in the you can go in those areas, but you can't do any quests. That's right. You have that expansion. So that it's okay. That works. Pretty. And they're pretty, they're still, you know what y'all people, people may, may kind of laugh at Lord of the Rings online. That game has been going for years. It is still updating. It's still looking good. If you want to get lost in middle earth and you're into very questy, heavy, heavy, heavy Tolkien games, that is still to this day, one of the best Lord of the Rings games renditions ever. It stands the test of time. I love that game, and I will always plug that game. That's my get lost. When I'm not on for a while, chances are I'm on Lord of the Rings Online, <laughs> getting lost in Gondor or something. I love that game. So this is the third game. This is the newest game. This is the one that most people have a problem with, and I'm sure you'll see why here in a second. Um, $59.99, again, $60, bucks, base game. All of the stuff you have from your other games, are playable in this game so if you bought all the previous content it all works in this game that's good that's and good. it'll unlock because you own it in the other games you don't have to buy it all over again but you'll notice something here shadow of change 24.99 forge of the chaos dwarves 24.99 yeah. champions of chaos 15.99 blood for the blood god 3 349 it's more expensive for blood when you could just go back to the first game and buy the blood pack for cheaper uh, if you don't yeah. own the first game though you got to pay more because you didn't buy the other ones ogre kingdoms 11.99 silence and the fury and then we get into some of this other shit 263 dollars and 30 cents okay i've never played this game so let me ask you how long are we talking of gameplay is all this shit what are we talking uh, about? Let's see what hours I've got. Something you can run through in a day, or is this like, no, bitch, this is no. extended. You got to put some time into this. You got to put a lot of time into <laughs> okay. this. So on this game alone, in, in, in Warhammer 3, I've spent 190 hours in game, which okay. is not a lot considering what most people do, what most people get up to. Now, the old one, too, this is where my, my teeth are going to show. Um, let's get back down here. Uh, Total War Warhammer 2. 
1,411 hours and <laughs> one million dollars. Uh -huh. That's a lot, right? 1,411 <laughs> hours. <clears throat> I had nothing better to do. <laughs> and the first game, well, I was still working, 248 hours. So. Okay. This is, I'm working. This is, I have nothing better to do. <laughs> I, I've got about 1,200 on Lotro, so I hear you. <laughs> it's like, you know, get lost in that shit. So. Seven, then you start looking around and you go, well, seventy dollars for a game ain't bad. Yeah, seven hundred, you know, seven dollars, seventy dollars when you you're not looking at all that add-on shit. But Creative Assembly is known for fleecing its customers. We know you want this. We know you're gonna buy it. So we're gonna put the price at this. The only time that people revolted and were like, "F you." was during this last expansion where they gave us half the content for double the price. Mm -hmm. And people were pissed. People were like, you've got half the units, half the the faction, um, and you charge us double. You charged us for a big expansion like when you brought in the Chaos Dwarves, but you've added shit. You didn't give us really give us anything. And people, people were revolted and wouldn't play it. And... Um, they had to go back and they had to fix it. In the beginning, it was, this is our stance. We're not moving. By the end of it, after everybody left and stopped pl playing and buying their shit, they went, well, we really need to look at this and decide if this is worth dying on this hill. And it wasn't. Yeah. So they went in and gave us a big expansion pack for free that added all the units that were missing that we were bitching about. Mm -hmm. So, well, just just the past couple of weeks, people are going nuts, and I can't blame them. I can't blame them because the the thing, I don't know. I always saw gaming as like the last free bastion of all of this mess because there's so many developers. There's you know Hollywood. They're all in one big incestuous clump. Yes, there are different studios, but they all know each other and they all talk. I guess, I guess with gaming, it's the same way, but it just feels more spread out. It feels because there's so many indie studios. There's just, there's so many things now that I just never thought there'd be like a strong arming of the gaming community. But hey, it's 2024, y'all. This is Western society now. I guess nothing is immune, and that's kind of sad. It's sad when you feel like you do have to push back. It's sad when you feel like you are in a corner when it's, you know, fight or flight kind of thing. That sucks. And really quick, Miss Martin Muses sends a rose as a super sticker. Thank you Yay. so very much, Miss Martin Muses. It's been a while since I've seen you. I hope your day is going well. I hope you're having a good one. Um, I hope we brought we bring a little smile to people's faces each morning. <laughs> Uh, if we give you some laughs and we bring you some smiles, by God, I think it's all worth it. And we've got a we've got a twenty dollar rumble rant from Victor Fontaine, who says, "Hail to Loki and those feasting at his table in the great halls of Valhalla." Thanks for this stream to praise or Ben about all the things that bring happiness to our lives. Skull and tuck and roll. Nice. Thank you very much, Vic, brother. Thank you. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get you what you asked for. I am. I'm just. It's been it's been nuts. The last couple of days have been nuts. Uh, I've been absolutely crazy. So um, <laughs> you can go back further than that. But literally, I was to a point where um, I was like, maybe this isn't Loki's destiny. Maybe Loki's destiny belongs somewhere else. And then someone comes out and calls me the Godfather and says, I'm manipulating, pulling the strings of everybody around me. And I said, oh, 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 as soon as I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. This is wonderful. Loki, you're busy. I mean, if you really did all the things people said you do, when did you sleep? 
I don't know. I don't. I had my <laughs> sleep removed. Damn. I had a doctor, a Dega. So when I went to see a Dega, I was like, hey, doc, can you remove my sleep? Kind of like what Lorne did in Angel. I was like, can you just remove my sleep? And he was like, yeah, sure. Just did a little surgery and removed the sleep. Now I don't have to sleep at all. I just, Yay! yeah. Nip, nip, tuck. Yeah. You can be Godfather 24 7. I can now. be Godfather 24 <laughs> 7. Amount of shit people say I do. God help me. I know. All right. I've got like 20 girlfriends. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. So you're busy. I'm busy. Dave, no wonder you're worn out. It's like, oh my God. Doing Make all Mike that look stuff. like a piker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, you have to. You have to laugh or you'll just be like, what the fuck? I'm out of here. Because <laughs> it's crazy. Grumpy Old Marine Vet says, my brother has Dwarf Chaos Dwarf and Wood Elf Armies between Codex's paint models and Terrania's thousands spent on GW products. Not to mention the abortion of a game called Blood Bowl. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I've got, um, I've got Lizardmen. I've got Skaven. And I've got Empire. So, uh, and I don't paint those. The wife, the wife paints them because she loves doing shit like that. And she's very, very good at it. Nice. So. She paints miniatures? Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That's like one of her little hobbies she doesn't talk about. Man, hats off to y'all that do that. I tried once. I had a little dragon hatching out of an egg. And I used these really pretty pastel paints. But they were paints for calligraphy, not paints for, you know, models. I think it's pretty, but no, nah, it's, it's not my, it's not my thing. I apparently do not have that gift. <laughs> I was nearly blind by the end of it. So that's awesome. Punkwata says, do you even eat spaghetti Loki or is it Tex-Mex tacos in and in the Italian out? <laughs> um, I love, I love Italian. So um, fettuccine Alfredo. Um, lasagna, spaghetti and meatballs, or spaghetti bolognese, however you want to call it. Um, I love, I love pizza. I love Italian food. So Italian all the way. Mike can have the Tex-Mex shit. I do make some badass enchiladas though. That's my thing. Like when, when Eris and I got together, I was like, oh, I'll make, I'll make enchiladas one night. And she was like, you have to get these kind of tortillas and you have to do this. I was like, woman, get out of my kitchen. Corn tortillas out. looking at flour. That's, <laughs> no, it was flour. She wanted flour. She wanted flour and I'm like, no, we're no. getting corn. She's like, I've never had corn tortillas. I'm like, oh, sweetheart. So I got the, I got the skillet out and I got the butter <laughs> in the pan and it's sizzling and I got the corn tortillas and I'm flipping them and I, I get the glass. I've got this glass um, tray that I'm oh. going to put them all in. And oh, she was like, these are the best enchiladas I've ever had. I'm like, yeah, fuck flour. Don't use flour. She's never had a corn tortilla enchilada. Then what she's had is a burrito. Yeah, what she's that had is a burrito. It's a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. A little um, bit of sauce splashed on top. Carbonara. What's up, Monkey Jeebus? Okay, do you make them with green sauce or with red sauce? So I'm picky. I prefer green, but most people like the red for enchiladas. I don't use an enchilada sauce. Oh my God, Loki, you're a unicorn. What do you, how do you make enchiladas? <clears throat> so uh, you don't use the enchilada sauce. Okay. That's just my personal preference. That's how I learned. Um, everything with the butter and the meat and the cheese, and whatever else you throw in there, trust me, it'll work. It sounds amazing. It'll work because okay. there'll be enough, there'll be enough butter coming off it because the tortillas aren't like drenched in butter they're just cooked in butter but there'll be enough moisture in there that once you put some cheese on top it'll it'll all work itself work itself out mm, sounds good mockany draws from with ten dollar super chat what is up brother mockany's coming up here in like five minutes guys on the morning block we went from the developer of stellar blades never seen a woman to if you like this game, you're killing women. Yes, I'm going off on this. Get ready, y'all. 
I figured Mac would have something to say about that. Oh, yeah. So at first it wasn't no woman can look like that. And then they showed the model that they used. And then it was like, she's she's underage. Then it turns out she's like 45 years old. And they they it's just, she might be 45, but they used the face of a, no, they used her face. Well, damn it, she looks too young. Well, here's um, that thing. Okay, the young thing, I get that. But the, the, who gives a shit? What if she was a woman that the developers were like, you know what? This is just going to look good. We're going to put her in a shiny suit. She's going to have shiny butt, shiny boobies, but she's going to be fully clothed. She's going to be badass, long ass ponytail. We're just going to go balls to the wall. And everyone's like, yay, she looks great. Except you hear a re around the world. Who cares if she's based on a real woman or not? Honestly, who cares? Who gives two shits? Unless you're just some miserable, puckered mouth, sitting in the corner, raising net, who goes, I don't look like that, so I got a problem. Shit, I don't look like that chick. And he, and I'm straight, and I still think she's hot. What is the problem? Who cares? if That is my point, Loki. Who cares if she was based on a real woman or not? Does she look like a real woman? Yeah, she looks, you know, two arms, two legs, looks normal. Who cares? <laughs> Arwen said another girl is hot. I mean, why are, why are we even banner with these people? That's what I don't understand. When their argument gets so ridiculous, why even entertain them? I don't look like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You know, I'm not six foot tall, you know, super thin Asian lady with, you know, who looks like. I'm not. But it is it is a game character, people. She's not going to sleep with anyone. So it's not like, oh, let's just buy the game in hopes of dating her. Oh, my God. It's not like that. And It's I not an X game. Why they're taking it there. If you like this game, you must be pervy. Well, what? see, this, this is the crazy thing is this is what this is what uh, nobody. Nobody probably wants to hear this. This is what the right used to do. This is what the this is what they used to do when they would bring in games like Mass Effect and they'd have Senate hearings. Mm over mass effect because they said mass effect was a sex simulator i'm not kidding okay <laughs> you can look it up mass effect investigation you can look it up on your own you can find all the shit about it you can watch the hearings on it that they had because they said it was a sex simulator your your kids are buying these sex simulators in GameStop, and they're just Thanks selling somebody. them to them, right? That's not what Mass Effect was at uh, all in any way, shape, or form. That's exactly what they're doing. The pendulum has swung all the way to the other side, and people are eating it up because left good, right bad. Um, they, they fooled you into believing that censoring and silencing is the way. Whereas we fought this shit back in the late 90s. We fought this shit in the early 2000s. We won our freedom to enjoy the games we want to enjoy and for them to be able to make the games they want to make. And now they've sold their rights away to these companies like Sweet Baby Inc. because of money. Manuels are just jealous. Yes, I will agree with that. It's, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I mean, I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, you know, the woman's not naked. She's not running around, you know, shoving boobies in your face. I mean, there's nothing inappropriate about that game. Nothing. She's, she's in a, a basically a, a glorified shiny onesie. Okay. So you can see the shape of her boob and her butt. Oh my God. Women have boobs and butts. Who knew? And, and we can't exactly hide them. We wear clothing, but y'all have eyes. Y'all can see they're there. And that's what I feel like. I feel like they're they're not just trying to say, hey, let's create some new games with maybe a little more modestly dressed women or men. Because everyone seems to forget the men mm -hmm. in this scenario. There are sexy men in video games, you know. But instead of that, they're trying to tell you something is wrong when it's not wrong. And that's what makes everyone feel icky. Because it's well, like, wow, it, am I being told I'm a pervert because I like this game? You're not a pervert, honey. You're not a pervert. It's the woman's fully clothed. I don't get it. 
if you look for something to be outraged at, er, at, at through the, those lenses at everything, you're going to find something always. Always. And yeah, I hear you, Boosh. I hear you. And this is this is one of the things uh, we'll talk about this at some point because we don't have enough time today. But what from what these people said about this situation, it wasn't up to Harley to discontinue the relationship. It was up to Ivy. So our Harley didn't have a choice. Harley would have had to just accept it if that's what Ivy, if Ivy wanted to stay in that relationship at 10 years old, Harley was just supposed to accept it and learn to live with it. Otherwise, she's bad. That's insanity to me. What? Oh, yeah. There's a whole thing on um, how horrible Harley would have been if she would have broke off the relationship instead of ivy being like no i'm 10 get over it um oh my oh yeah <laughs> that it was always ivy's call that it wasn't harley's call it was ivy's call and there was a call ivy had to make um that if if she hadn't made that harley's just kind of yeah wow i i yeah. can't even i cannot even so, guys, we're going to get out of here. Arwen, what do you got coming up? Uh, well, I believe tonight and tomorrow, I think, is back to uh, Daryl and Arlena can confirm that better. But from what I understand, we're going to be there's going to be a two for this week. So tonight, tomorrow, and then I'll be around. I'll be here and there. That's Dave, funny. Bob, what do you got? <laughs> Baseball tournament this weekend with my grandson. Nice. Ooh, Hopefully nice. he does well. he playing oh yeah okay okay he pitched. hopefully he does well he, he he's a damn good little hitter so. uh we should be back with the late show later tonight if not i will let you know but we should be back i haven't talked to my co-host yet but we should be on for later tonight so until then guys take care be excellent to each other always speak friend Anner. and thank you so very much for being here on the week in review you guys have a great one, everybody. Bye, y'all. Right. Bye. These videos are tremendous. Like, comment, and subscribe and hammer that notification bell. Remember to make it more offer they can't refuse.